Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3 and our generation 5 oh, and 6 of our Dawn Pack. Our Dawn Moon Pack who are currently curled up in the summer hunting grounds. Kaleidoscope and Honey, you guys are getting a little bit too far away for comfort, but otherwise, we're doing really, really good, you guys. Look at all the flowers. Look at the view. I think every day that Bee wakes up and there's just like this huge, glorious meadow that she's keeping all of her pups in, she just feels a lot more comfortable here than trying... Oh, hey, Morning Glory. <laughs> <laughs> feels a lot more comfortable here than trying to go ahead and stuff these guys down into a den. She never really liked being stuffed into a den, which is kind of the opposite of her cousin, Atlas III, who wishes he could like shove his half-grown pups back in. Ah, but there we have it. All right, so let's go ahead and do some quick reviews. How's the pack doing? Lilac is slowly but surely recovering from the illness that she had, and she is still quite the hefty little pup. She and Honey are the two largest of our pups. Kaleidoscope is ever wandering around at the edges. Morning Glory is the smallest of our wolf pups. And Plum? Well, I don't really know what I think about Plum's personality. Where is she? She's hanging out with Lilac. All right, let's go ahead. Plum is kind of adorable. It looks like she's chewing on a bone. Maybe Plum is a collector. All right, let's go ahead and take a little nap since our pups are kind of tired. And of course, B is kind of tired as well. We'll let everybody get some rest and then we'll survey the territory and try to gather up some more food for our wolf pups and for ourselves once we wake up. All right. So what do we think now? Oh no, dang it! <laughs> Not Kaleidoscope! Oh my gosh, she's like one of the mega favorites. Kaleidoscope, how did you get sick? Oh, knowing her, she must have gotten into something she wasn't supposed to. And it looks like the carcass that we had got eaten. So now we don't have that either. Dang it! All right, she's already down to 93%, but that's not a ton when it comes to our pups. We need to get them all up to 20 pounds. Okay, we might have to go north because the wolves, well, we might have to go north and northwest especially because it looks like Blood Moon Pack might definitely push in since now the rival packs will raid you much more often if your territory is smaller. So if Kaleidoscope just got sick, I can only imagine that's because she's always wandering around at the edges and maybe she stayed away from the huddle of the other wolves last night and so she just didn't quite get enough warmth. And then the rain started, so maybe she was sleeping out in the rain by herself. Oh no, we're out of food! Alright, let's quietly bark. Ah! Oh look, Lilac and Cliff are playing in the background! Oh wait, Cliff had some food for everybody! Okay, that's good. When we come back, we'll go ahead and we will feed them again. Oh jeez! And there's just like gigantic lightning storms crashing down all around us. All right, this is not good because Kaleidoscope... Look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. She's kind of low-key one of my favorites, and I was thinking of doing, like, a denless challenge with her at some point in the future. <gasps> baby moose, baby moose, baby moose, baby moose, baby moose, that'd be really good food! Oh my gosh! Come on! The mom is behind us! We're going to need to be really careful about this! Okay, move, move, move. But this is too good a meal to pass up for sure. And that mother moose is pretty separate from her baby. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, we've almost got it! We've almost got the moose! Okay, this is not a very good mom because she's not staying close enough to her baby. Maybe the rainstorm has confused them. That is clearly what has happened, if you ask me. And now... Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay, V would definitely be excited about that. Because that is a good haul to bring home to our pups, especially if we have a sick wolf pup. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. Did Cliff stay behind again? <laughs> he did! I swear, Cliff just always stays right with the pups. Like, that has been his priority entirely, which is really hilarious for a wolf who insists on being really territorial compared to the other wolf packs. He's never really lived up to all of his- he's all- he's all bark and no bite when it comes to living up to his declarations that, yes, expanding the territory of the wolf packs is so important to him. And then do you see him go and do it? No! No, he does not! 
<laughs> he just stays and sits on top of the wolf pups and lectures them the whole time about how important it is to expand your territory, and yet he is never the one doing it. That's okay. I think Bee has kind of gotten used to that, and to be honest, she's not the one who wants to stay home babysitting the wolf pups anyway, so it kind of works out between the two of them. And we're not too hurt, so I think we'll continue to go back north because it sounds like the Blood Moon pack is kind of close. But let's make sure the pups finish eating first. Alright, hey Plum! We brought back some food, everyone. Let's make sure the kaleidoscope gets a full stomach before we go ahead and head off. Alright, oh look at the pups! Oh my gosh! Alright, it is very fun to be able to play with everybody. I mean, just look! Everyone's so happy! They've got a little bit of food, the pups are playing. Okay, that's really precious. Please ignore the, like, carcass that's over to the other side of the screen, but there we go. Alright, they're getting really big, too. We'll play a little bit with Kaleidoscope. I hope she gets a little more to eat. No, oh, listen to the little pups! All the girls are trying to howl, even though it's, like, very, very, very wet. Alright, let's get everybody back into the grasses. Cliff, if you want to stay here being a goose, you can do that. But, because he really wants to protect them. But we're going to go to the north and then over to the east in order to try to push the wolves back a little bit. Because that, that is way too close for comfort. Alright, there's mule deer nearby. Oh, what's this? A hair carcass. Why would there be a hair carcass? Maybe a coyote had a, a lucky shot. Cliff, what are you doing? Okay, so Cliff has actually decided to come with us. Maybe he's hungry? Yeah, he's actually hungry, so we should probably do some hunting in a little bit. But we'll see if we stumble on anything. Is he still chasing that? No, there he is. Alright, bunny, 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 bunny! Alright, maybe will we offer this to Cliff? Does he want to eat it? Oh, I can hear the Blood Moon pack in the distance. Alright, yeah, he's eating the bunny. Or not. Okay, he just had like a bite of it and then wanted to share the rest with B. Did that help at all? Just barely. Alright, what, what sense do we have on the ground here? Are we headed to the spot? We are headed to the spot. What we really want to keep our eyes and ears out for would be another mother. Oh, a bear bun to bite! That gives us easy days! If I can chase that bear away, that gives us an easy day! Okay, okay. It's a boar grizzly. Alright, Cliff! Get out of the way, Cliff! Look! We want to chase the, the grizzly away, but the bite was just to, to like, designate that we, we could bite his butt. Because now that we've done that, we actually get to roll a dice and then have that number of easy days if we can have a stand down with the grizzly and make him run off. B does have a thing against bears. Alright, not as bad as Atlas, because Atlas's dad was killed by them. Alright, come on, get out of here. Cliff, stop taunting him! Cliff, move it! Stop taunting him! Cliff, what are you doing? Look, I understand how exciting it is to go ahead and fight bears, but like Cliff was just standing there. B has a much better like bear butt biting tactic to do by insisting that you kind of stay back. You nip the butt of the bear on occasion and otherwise you growl at him and confuse him and make him want to run away. This is worth it. This is worth the risk because of B's special lifetime quest, where if we can chase this bear away, then what happens is we actually get to go ahead and we actually get to have those easy days, which we really need if we have a sick pup. Cliff, stop getting so close. Should I send you back home? Because Cliff, seriously, you're going to antagonize him in the wrong way. Okay, Cliff, you Dumbo! We're trying to convince him to run for it, not to attack. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
All right, that's it. I'm gonna see if I can get Cliff to- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes! Yes! Also, Cliff is almost dead, what? <gasps> you fool! You absolute fool, and we only get two easy days out of that. Oh my gosh, I don't think that was worth the, the, the risk, you guys. All right, we're gonna tell Cliff to go home. He almost died to that bear! That could have been easy, and he, like, B thought she was the one. She was the one who was, like, the risk taker. And then did you see what he just did there? Oh my gosh, maybe we should turn around and we should go ahead and sleep for a little bit. Because if he trips over a rock, I I've never lost a mate while raising our wolf pups before. And I'm not exactly sure what that would entail, but I don't think it would be good for us. All right, we're almost there. Oh my gosh. All right, well, hopefully we don't get ambushed. Because I would very much not like to, like, lose our wolf pups at this point. All right, is there a scent marker? There is a scent marker over here. Okay, what I heard, and I went quiet because I was trying to identify what we were stumbling on. There's just a fox nearby. And some deer running away. Aha, and there's the scent marker. Ooh, and there's a bunny, thank goodness. I don't think we're gonna turn down any of the easy meals. I can't believe that. Okay, like, Cliff has all the bravery. He's got a lot of bark and apparently sometimes some bite. But like, B, I think she just kind of knows naturally how to take on a bear more than Cliff. He took on the bear like another wolf getting right out in front of its face. It's almost like he was challenging it to a duel. Like if this was any other kind of story, that would have been the Dumbo Knight who just walks up to the dragon and is like, I challenge you to a duel and just slaps him in the face. Oh, and instead we have like a, a wolf basically challenging a bear to a duel, which was very dumb. As amazing as Cliff is, I don't think that he is as talented, one might say, at the nuances of bear butt biting, which really involves being a little bit of a, a tease more than anything else. Because you know you can't win, so you're really just trying to kind of like tease and irritate the bear until it goes away. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, um, I don't think he's quite as suited for it as we are. All right, we're not gonna bother chasing that fast deer. Oh, what's this? I think we're very close to the plastic cooler. Oh, what's this though? All right, close to the elk herd. What's that? Yeah, plastic cooler is nearby, but I don't think now is really the time to find it. And it would be nice to do some elk hunting, but actually we're pretty beaten up and pretty tired. And I'm still really nervous about Cliff. So, all right, we've done a decent-ish job solidifying some of our territory. <sighs> but how's Kaleidoscope? That's the thing. Okay, so Kaleidoscope is still sick. So I think even though we're so tired and we're really pushing it, we are gonna come a little bit further just to try to clear away some of the prospect peak pack to try to get that two square buffer so that then we can just focus for a long time on staying by the side of our sick wolf pup. But right now, the way things are set up... Okay, those are bison. We're not gonna bite, bite those guys on the butt. B knows how to taunt a bear, but she is not going to be the kind to taunt bison. Maybe one of our wolf pups in the future and their lifetime quest will involve biting the butt of bison. That could actually be kind of entertaining, I think. Maybe we'll have like a really rambunctious wolf pup who just really, really, really wants to like cause a stampede. <gasps> Maybe that would be a cool thing to work on. Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, mama elk. We need to feed B as well. All right, so let's triangulate where the mother elk is, right over here. And then we're going to do, there we go, and try to stay in the area. Now that I've learned the elk can basically be anywhere in the bushes and grasses, not just the tall, tall grasses, which I feel is so cheaty. It's not, it's smart. If it keeps her like baby alive, that's the only point. But we're looking for these easy meals. 
I just have to listen carefully to make sure we don't go outside of nothing there. <gasps> Found it! Found it! Found it! Hurry, beat! Wait! There we go. All right, and as much as that sucks for the mother elk, we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of food. Does that fill our stomach up? Eh, 93, we're gonna eat a little more. Excellent. All right, so that actually helped out a lot and we still have half the carcass left. Let's bring that back home to Cliff. And then we'll we'll see about trying to push our territory out again. Prospect Peak's main zone is kind of far away, but wolves can cover miles and miles a day when they are trying to mark and establish their territory from one another. And I'm pretty sure we heard Prospect Peak pack howling when we were howling back at our den, or well, our grassy summer rendezvous spot just a little bit ago. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back over to Cliff, and then we're gonna see if we can stay by our mate's side because he almost died dueling a bear. Oh, that, that seems so appropriate for him. It really, truly does. And then we're going to make sure that we try our best to keep little Kaleidoscope alive. Fingers crossed because she is so... Oh, there's a whole elk herd over here too. Because she is just so much fun and she has been one of the ones to develop such an immense amount of personality. It would be really tragic to lose that. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for a very, very exhausted bee. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!